Today we'll be designing a drink pairing for Saturn, the bringer of old age from Holst's The Planets. This is a pretty straightforward drink, but it does require a little bit of prep. And you will start with a cocktail glass. You also need a shaker of crushed ice. You will need scotch. You should use blended scotch, but the closest thing I had was Glenfiddich, and that's okay. You will need some drambuie. You will also need some ginger liqueur. This is Domaine de Caton. Not the easiest thing in the world to find, um, but you can also use honey liqueur. Um, I got this from Latvia, but you can probably find some somewhere. Uh, it'll either be one or the other, or you could half the volume and use half of both, which is what I'll use. You also need some Saint-Germain, just as a, as a top, as a float. You will also need some simple syrup, which you can prepare ahead of time, and some graham cracker crumbs. How else to make the rings of Saturn? So, simple syrup is pretty simple to uh, prepare. You just boil water and add an equal amount of sugar and dissolve it. And then, of course, make sure that it comes back down to temperature before you use it. Crush up some graham crackers, not into sawdust, but uh, make sure there's some bigger pieces in there as well. The trick to this is that you can't just rim the glass. If you have a rimmer, I would not suggest using it because you only want the graham cracker crumbs to be on the outside of the glass. And if you use a rimmer, they'll get on the inside as well. So I put some simple syrup in this little cup, which is what I would suggest. And you can take a tissue or a paper towel or a Q-tip or something, dip it in and just paint the simple syrup on the outside of the glass about a half inch. Make sure you get all the way around. And then when the graham cracker crumbs are in the shallow bowl or the dish, you should be able to just lean the glass into the dish and, and pick up some of the crumbs. If you're not picking up as many as you'd like, feel free to just add some more syrup. Um, once you boil the half and half water and sugar, you can even dissolve more sugar if you want to make it thicker. The thicker it is, the more those crumbs are going to stick. The purpose of using simple syrup is that it doesn't have a taste, so it's not going to add any particular flavor to the drink. It's just going to add a little sweetness, and it's going to make those graham cracker crumbs stick to the rim. So after you have all of your rings of Saturn stuck to your glass, then you're ready to start mixing your ingredients. You take a shaker of crushed ice. I only had cubed ice, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to stir this later, but you, you want two ounces of your scotch. So one. And two. I'm actually measuring this out this time because uh, this is a very particular recipe and I wanted to make sure I got everything accurate. One ounce of drambuie, and then here is the option. You can do one ounce of your ginger liqueur, or if you don't have that or you don't like ginger, you can do one ounce of your honey liqueur, or you can do a half ounce of each, and that's the way I'll be preparing the drink today. This Domaine de Canton, if you can find it, uh, it's a wonderfully versatile um, mixer, and you probably could even drink it by itself. Um, not the easiest thing to find, but it's really delicious. Not that honey liqueur is any easier to find, but um, so half and a half with each of those. And then you're not going to shake it, you're just going to stir it gently. This is a drink of old age. We have old scotch. We have elderflower liqueur. We have complexity and a little sweetness. You don't want to ruffle any feathers. Just stir around and around until you feel that it's getting cold. Again, I'm stirring quite rapidly here because I had cubed ice. 
and I have to kind of get the cubes all around, but if you have crushed ice, it'll, you could stir it much more gently than that. Then you will strain it into your glass. The ice does not go into the drink, only the liquid goes into the drink. It has this beautifully rich golden color to it, exactly what you would expect from the golden age and for a golden planet. Last stop is our Saint-Germain. It's going to float on top, but you don't have to do anything fancy with the spoon in the way that we did with the other drinks. All you need to do is basically uh, fill the spoon, and then you can just pour it on top gently. That'll be about a quarter ounce. It's got a very distinct flavor. It will come through. And there you have it. Saturn of old age. Beautiful color, beautiful drink.